Okay, sorry, before we start, why is moisture on here? Okay, so that's the one I was <laughs> just thinking about. It's because we pray for moisture. We pray for and moisture. Oh, uh, like it's rain? Like, yeah, but that's... it's like, why pray for moisture? You should pray for rain or snow or whatever you need, but it's it's just weird. It's just a weird way to say heard rain. I've that. Really? Okay. Uh, I've, I've heard less that we can have moisture? Thing. Yeah, it, it it's might be. Uh, it yeah. might be. It <laughs> might be. <laughs> guys so today we're gonna go over some mormon jargon it's just weird words that you may have heard us say if you do know what they mean great if you don't we're gonna go over that i think even <laughs> if you know even if you've been in the church your whole life like i was reading these and i was laughing because there's so many words that we just say and i didn't yeah. even realize that we're weird so if you're a convert, yeah. I'm so sorry. Honestly, so much respect. Like we say some weird crap that I didn't even know, I know. was weird. Everybody's got them though, right? Yeah. Like yeah. I've been like doing stuff like in like the Catholic Church, like catechism. Like what the heck does that mean? Or like <laughs> the Holy it. See. Like what, see what see what you know. So every <laughs> like every religion has them, yeah. but uh, we're gonna try and ease you into some of these. Yes. The first one we've got is testimony meeting. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna. Oh, a little. oh, I will. I will tell you what a testimony meeting is. So, okay. So that is in reference to a special kind of sacrament meeting. You might not know what sac sacrament meeting is <laughs> the main meeting that we go to at church on Sunday where yeah. you take the sacrament, which you might refer to as the, uh, uh, mass. What, the mass, what, what, it's well, like, communion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but one Sunday a month, that sacrament meeting is, we call it a, a testimony meeting. And what it means is that after you participate in the sacrament, the rest of the meeting is essentially left up to anyone who wants to, to go up to the pulpit and bear their testimony. That's what that is. Yeah, and and what is a testimony? A testimony <laughs> is just sharing your feelings or your thoughts or your faith on different aspects, maybe of the gospel or of Christ or anything like that. The gospel and Christ. We stick with those or else they get into yeah. travel logs and, and things that... <laughs> People like talking, you know. Yeah. It's like a stand-up night at the church. Yeah. So we try and That's stick to that, but... <laughs> yeah. Especially the YSA words. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't Should we that. just each say one and then go down the line and yeah, see how many we can get it. through? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> bosom. <laughs> Burning in the bosom. Bosom, bosom. sisters. <laughs> yeah, so bosom is like your chest area, and I feel like that comes up. That It's so... That's just the one we started with. Um, It's where... Like, you feel the spirit a lot of times. That's when it comes up if people are like, oh, I feel a burning in my bosom. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, fast Sunday. Such a weird one. <laughs> I know. Such a weird one. Saying it weird. Saying what weird? All of it. Where do you get off? It's like, that just leads to so many questions. I think it's just symbolic of, like, when you feel the spirit, they say, like, yeah. 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 Don't right. refer to yourself as... Like having a bosom unless it's spiritual, because that's you know what. How does I this shirt look on my bosom? Like, no like, 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 better yet, if you don't know what that is, good, and just don't learn it. Let's just, let's just, that just, one just out. get rid of it. Yeah. We have to strike that from the record, Your Honor. It's speculation. So stricken. Okay, an anti. <laughs> Uh, so an anti. Well, okay. When we say that, we're generally talking about people who don't like us. I don't like you. Who are. Yeah. Uh, uh, antagonists of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We should probably get rid of it, though, because it's yeah. not yeah, really a nice thing. That. It creates kind of that, like, us versus them thing, and mm -hmm. we ain't nobody got time for that. And I think people can have differing opinions, too, without being labeled against or anti, and so it's just right. too distinguishing. Yeah, but... Funeral potatoes are, <laughs> are a food. They are delightful. So you good. do not have to eat them at a funeral. I'm not sure why they're referred to as funeral potatoes. But. Well, then they start yeah. at funerals. Like people used to make them because they serve a lot of people. It's I'd like a casserole. Yeah. I Right? Is that documented? I, I don't know. Dude, I, I don't know. A, I think it's I a safe assumption. But... I literally just started hearing about funeral pot funeral potatoes when I married into a white Mormon family, and now it's like it's a whole different world. Huh. For real. It's weird. Join our faith. <laughs> They're so the good. Best, the food, just, like, if best you, food. Yeah. yeah. Down. You get the potatoes. That's <laughs> exaltation, potatoes. They're both great things. Okay, this one's funny. Softened heart. It oh, makes yep. me think of like softened butter. Like when I'm making a recipe <laughs> and I'm like, crap, I was supposed to be softening that and I've like warm it up in the microwave. Anyway. That's a weird like, image. Oh, I overcooked it's... that. 
<laughs> you know, Sorry. that is weird. I, yeah, I think we're... So, yeah. softened <laughs> heart is basically when your heart is... Meek. Soft. <laughs> you are ready to receive things. Maybe personal revelation or things, yeah. but it's just a really weird way of terming <laughs> I that. Know, so, it's so weird. Well, I yeah. guess because hardened heart is the other thing we say. Yeah. And when your heart is hardened, it's like that's when you're mean and you don't want to hear anything from anyone. And so when your softened heart is the opposite. The softer the better is what we're getting uh-huh. at. Just, <laughs> and it's just a gushy weird. heart. Yeah. Go for a gushy heart. That's even better than a soft heart. Okay, let's let's bring that one in. I <laughs> like gushy liquefied. heart. Liquefied. <laughs> a fully liquefied heart. Got a liquefied heart. You are wonderful. <laughs> yeah. You can take it the next step. I mean, evaporated, that's beyond liquefied. Right. Oh, it's not even don't there. Have a heart, yeah. David. Oh, that's a good it's point. It's gone too far. Okay, okay, yeah, too far. <laughs> um, another one we've got is um, natural man. Okay, so oh, yeah. I don't love that one because for me, that's like okay. The way we talk about natural man is like carnal and just has the have these desires that are evil, I guess, and. I don't like that because I don't like thinking that we're in this natural state of evil. I, mm. I, I would like to think that there is some good to us before, but I, I don't know. Because there, we, that is true. Like, and I feel like that's what makes us different from a lot of other Christian faiths uh-huh. is that we don't believe that we're innately bad. Right. So, and I think sometimes with natural man, it's basically just like the, your carnal, just like immediate reaction to things, which usually can be bad, but it's not being evil. So mm-hmm. that's a really good point. This one's kind of interesting. It's um, rest him. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, so I mean, that's just like, so in sacrament <laughs> meeting at church, like in the middle of the meeting, you sing a hymn sometimes, and they call it the rest hymn. But some of them yeah. make you stand up to sing it, and I'm like, I'm not resting yeah. if I'm standing up. True. Yeah. That is true. That's so weird. Yeah. Okay, this one's actually very serious. It's church ball. <laughs> and church ball is basically like the churches, each ward has a team and it is very serious. I've known people oh, yeah. who have broken bones, broken souls. Like There's just a funny like, movie about church ball. Is there really? It's called church ball. Yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's I need yeah. to watch this. Church ball is a serious topic. Basically every church, I think almost every church probably has a basketball court. Um, and mm-hmm. yeah, each ward has a team and they compete and it is like <laughs> one of the more serious topics. One time my ward was playing and there was this little girl on my team. She was like four something. And then there was this bigger girl. It's like coming, running down the oh, court. I thought and the you little meant, girl. Like, four years old. She was like four years she old. She's four years old. <laughs> we started them young. <laughs> but she, something. They both go for the ball and the bigger one like picks up the ball. But the little one was just, she was holding on for her life. And so she's swinging this little girl around while they're both holding on to the ball. Church ball is hardcore. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, if you're familiar with the great schism of uh, the church oh in early Christianity, gosh. it probably happened over something like church ball. It's it's that serious. Uh-huh. Uh, so let's see. Okay, phrases. Oh, uh, can like we talk phrase. about sweet spirit first? Okay, yeah. That one's that one's kind of painful because culturally, because uh, Latter Day Saints are generally very nice people, I think, and relationships are very important Mm -hmm. and you're always trying to find your eternal companion and get (laughs) married and such right and so when like when I think of the the term sweet spirit I think of like a really nice mom um talking about you know lining her son up with a girl and if a girl is not exactly attractive if she's not pretty physically Mm -hmm. then she might get the the good the term per- she's got a great personality spirit. sweet spirit yeah similar. that's yeah. what like yeah she's got a great personality. and you would think a sweet Ooh. spirit is a good thing if you if someone tells you you have a sweet spirit run like that's not you don't need to surround <laughs> yourself with that kind of negative energy i'm serious it sounds nice but it's not nice it's like the bless her heart so yes, that is yeah. that's our equivalent of bless her heart yeah yeah, we need, yeah let's throw that one out that, yeah. that's that's tough um, every fiber of my being. <laughs> I just, What's a fiber? <laughs> what does I, that even mean? I don't know, because here's the thing, like, you have muscle fibers and other fibers in your body, but, like, you're... That's, That's just what so I didn't realize weird. that was just us. And yeah. I was like, yeah, who else says every fiber of my being? Yeah. yeah. Like, Actually, I heard a, I heard President Heber J. Grant, who was president of our church in, like, 
uh, the 50s, 40s or something, I heard an audio recording of him bearing his testimony. Uh -huh. And he says, every with thing. every fiber of my being, <laughs> it's so funny. Is that what it all goes back to? It, I don't know if it goes back That'd to that, but I thought it was I really interesting. See, that's the thing with a lot of these. I'm like, these have been around for centuries. Wait, century, not, okay, only two. Okay, these have been around for decades, and that's why we have so many freaking weird crap we say, and they're all, yeah. like, old like that, like, sweet spirit. Like, people don't say that now. It's yeah. all from, like, it's been carried on. If anything, yeah. I'd think that we'd say, with every mitochondria of my being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's seeing as how. Of protein. Yeah. Or... Well, protein's great, but mitochondria is the powerhouse. Uh -huh. It's a very... A good and that's, like, such yeah. a meme right now, so... There you go. Um, okay, one that's not on here that I was thinking of is when you when you go to someone and you're trying to get past them, you're like, hey, can I just sneak past you? Oh Apparently that's our, th like, I don't know, maybe you've heard it outside, but I was told that that's, like, our cultural thing to, can I just sneak past you? I've heard, okay, I've heard that's a white person thing. Is it? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. maybe not, but... But I don't know. That's funny. That is, it is true, though. Like, we, people that say that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just okay. gonna sneak right past you. <laughs> okay, nourish and strengthen our bodies. You, you knew, if, you, if you've been to our church, you know this one was coming. But that's, that's generally something people say uh, in a prayer over food, like to bless the food, right? They say that it may nourish and strengthen our bodies. And, like, the sentiment is good, but it's just become, like, a phrase that's so cultural mm -hmm. that we always say... And said it this morning. You said it this morning? Yeah, I did over my breakfast. Oh, you know, I it, probably oh. did too. But it's like, I, probably did I mean, we were talking about this in another episode or one you might see, but fries are not going to nourish and strengthen your body. And there's <laughs> ice cream, but we say it anyways, just kind of yeah. maybe hoping it will. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. We should probably stop. It's just it. a thing. Yeah, let's just break it. Like, same thing. Okay, another one is grateful for the opportunity. And I feel like mm -hmm. every single church talk, by the way, a talk is what we say in church, like other, like in the corporate world, it's like saying giving a message or, but mm -hmm. in our church, it's talk. And they all start the same. You get up and say, hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mimi Baskin. Right I've been in thing. the ward since August of this year, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity to speak to you today. Literally, every single talk. And then whatever talk, oh, and then you say some funny story about how the bishop oh, member ask. got asked you to give the talk. And then you say, today I'm giving a talk about testimony. The Oxford Dictionary gives the definition of testimony as, and they, like, every single time. Like, and it's funny because they'll, they'll throw that in, like, I'm grateful for the opportunity, but then there's the story about how they really didn't want to give a talk. Right. But then you're like, are you grateful or are you just saying that? <laughs> like, let's just break these habits. Like, this is on us, guys. Yeah. We're the younger generation. Let's make a change. Like, you don't have to use these words. It's Here's weird. one that I really love. I don't know you all, but I love oh, you. That one bothers I, me. It, you hear it I all that. the time. I say that on yeah. the show. <laughs> It's just a thing. Like, yeah, it is. I've never met you, but I mean, I guess it's kind of maybe one of those things. Like, I respect you until you make me not respect you. I, don't I know. well, yeah, I feel like it was, it's it's true in the sense of like of this default Christ-like love that yeah, I feel towards yeah. all humans, you know. Uh huh. But like, if somebody says that from the pulpit, and you're like, like. We've never talked. You've never met me in my life. Oh, like, you I know who you're saying you love? Yeah. I say and I mean it. I say because, like, we're all brothers and sisters. Yeah. And honestly, like. So you're talking I, about the general Christ-like love. Right. Yes. But yeah. that doesn't mean I don't mean it. Right. And I and that's why, like, that's why I mentioned, like, that's cool. Like, I believe uh -huh. that. Uh-huh. But, like, what does that even mean, you know? Means too many things. Yeah. Okay, like. Like, what does it mean no. for you to say you love me when, like, you don't even know my name, you know, type of thing? It means I know we're all from the same creator, and I will always be there for you if you need it. Each and every one of you. <laughs> That's the other thing. I love each and every one of you so yeah. much. Yeah. I think, I, I think good, that one's okay. Good intentions. Yeah. I think good intentions count for something. Okay, so we have this huge list here. We didn't get through probably even half of them. <laughs> Um, but if, if there, if there's like stuff, words, phrases that, that you've heard at church or from missionaries or whatever, you don't know what they mean, let us know in the comments or let us know of other phrases that you think that we can just kind of get rid of that have come into our culture that are just, you know, 
weird or, or yeah. sound Maybe weird to other people. Like, band together, start a campaign to just get rid of all these weird words, and <laughs> we'll transition ourselves out within the next five years. Yeah, <laughs> that like sounds that? good. We can yeah. do it. We can form a new church. Oh. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>